Hi everyone! Today we're going to make a Singapore mee fan, rice noodles. It, although it says Singapore, it was originated from Cantonese restaurants. It's one of the popular noodle dishes. I already did the prep work, it took some time, and I'm going to show you the ingredients. I already cut up, this is a half bell pepper green and a half of the red and a half red onions and uh, two or three stalks of green onions and a few dried chili peppers, depends on how spicy you like, you can add more or less and a um, few shrimp, this is the chicken slivers I use about um, two ounces of chicken, two eggs, this is minced garlic, garlic, <laughs> this is ginger and uh, Curry powder, this is the key to this dish. I got this Indian um, curry powder. It says hot, but it's just uh, um, proper heat for me. But you can even buy spicy, you have spicy, your different level. So here's our noodles. Rice noodles made of rice and water. So, they're dried noodles, of course. And uh, for the eggs, we have two eggs. I just need to add a little bit of uh, white pepper powder, a little bit of salt, as I always do this way. Get to the eggs. Oh, I love the smell of the curry powder. Smell good already. <laughs> so egg and uh, for the chicken. If you have watching my chicken dishes, you know, same thing. I just uh, season with uh, white pepper powder, salt. Starch. Can mix this well. Of course, normally it's made of pork. You can even use the roasted pork, but you know me, <laughs> I like chicken. Um, if you like pork, go ahead to use pork. Just add a little bit of vegetable oil. So that's the seasoning of our chicken slivers. I cut it very thin like this. Okay, and a few shrimp, like six, seven shrimp. All we need just add a little bit of salt. Next. And then we are ready to stir fry. So before stir frying, we need to soak the noodles. And just look at the package, you know, some, some of them different. This one just says soaking in boiled water for one minute. So my water is boiling now. And we can turn this off. Add the noodles. It's about uh, two to three ounces. So we'll let this soak about a minute. After about a minute, you can see the noodles are soft now or softer. I'm going to strain it. Don't need to rinse with cold water. Okay, we'll set that aside and we're going to stir fry. We heat up our wok to high. Add some oil. It's coating the pan, the wok.
first we're going to saute our onions and the peppers. Add a little bit of salt to help them to become tender. This will take a few minutes. After a few minutes, our peppers onions become tender. We're going to take out, set aside. If you like it crunchier, you can cook less. Now we add more oil. Going to cook our eggs. Now our eggs ready, set aside. Add more oil. You know, wax requires a lot of oil. It's a difference from non-stick pans. It takes a few minutes. When chicken is almost done, we can also add the shrimp. The cocktail shrimp or pink. After two minutes, a shrimp or pink. Now we take well, some out. Now we add more oil. And we have about a teaspoon minced ginger and minced garlic. It's about a teaspoon curry powder. Mix them well. We need a little bit more oil, otherwise it would be too dry. Mmm, smells so good. Now we're going to add our noodles. Eh? Mix the noodles, noodles well. Now add our peppers, onions. Our chicken. Chili peppers. All well. Add the green onions and some soy sauce. Looks good. Let's just have a quick taste. Mm. Just need a little bit of salt. Mm. 
mix it. Our Singapore noodles ready. Smells so good here. I cannot wait to eat. Let's take some noodles. Shrimp, eggs, chicken. Peppers and onions. Let's try it out. Mmm. Of the spiciness of the curry powder and peppers, onions, sweet. Egg, chicken. Delicious. I cannot stop eating. <laughs> Very savory. You still have the sweetness of the peppers, onions. You know, I have chicken, I have eggs and uh, shrimp. Mmm. Such delicious noodle dish. Please, please try to make it at home. It's not uh, complicated. You just need to get all the ingredients and also adjust to your spiciness level. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.